Hey there. Welcome to to my page once again. Early in the morning as usual. And here I'm making some uh, this uh, raised bed which I want to plant some uh, some spinach or what we call the Swiss chards. So I want to levelize it and then I'll do the planting. So let's do this. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks a bit good, it looks okay, so I'm going to plant some seeds and uh, I have here some seeds that I want to plant and because I'm late, I'm not going to make a seed bed that is a nursery for the seeds. What I'm going to do is just plant them direct. These are the colored spinach. You see those uh, Swiss chard with uh, some, uh, the stems are yellow, red. Yeah, that is what I'm, I'm going to plant. And these are heirloom, that is a natural, a indigenous seeds. So let's plant this and uh, you see how they are going to do. Now I prefer, this time round I'm preferring to make some raised beds because I think sometimes they look beautiful, they make the garden look beautiful and also they make it easy for the weeding and also for passing around so that you don't have to step on your vegetables and also if you are planting different types of uh, vegetables just to make that separation I think that uh, Making some beds like this will look beautiful. For example, I have, let me show what I have there. I have this. You see those raised beds? You see that for some calicas? And then I have another one there. And I have two more here that I have to work on. So just it makes separation easy you can now have one bed for the kali curls and then i have there for scarlet curls and some bok choy and here i'm going to put the red spinach or the red swiss chard and then i think that uh, mixture of colors is going to look beautiful on this garden and uh, that is what i want to do so let me put the seats down and then I will take you through the process of germination and how we will take care of, of them. So this place has manure already. We have added the manure, so I'm not going to add any more until the seeds germinate. So the only thing I'm doing is just now putting the seeds down. So I have my seeds here. Use my finger just so easy. That is the space. Space, space. Simple as that. So, I'm going to do this until I finish all of it. So, I'm going to put the seeds in here. And as you can see, these seeds are big enough. So it is easy to count. It is easy to count unlike the other kale seeds which are so tiny. And uh, sometimes it is hard to plant direct. So this one, it is easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it is that easy and uh, I'm going to do all the bed. In some holes I'm putting two seeds. That is if in case one fails to germinate, I will have the other. And also if the other in other holes fails to germinate, I can remove one seedling from the other hole and uh, do the gapping. So that is how I'm doing it and uh, thank you.